Welcome to the second Simapro tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look further into creating the processes for your lifecycle inventory. We will look at the process screen and we will create an assembly using the processes. All right, I'd like to see the process for glass bottles. So I click on material, glass, well, packaging material, transformation process. And I'll choose for the packaging glass white, global production for packaging glass. The process screen exists of four tabs. We've got documentation and system description, which are used for documentation of the process. Um, the information seen here is the information you will see in field four when you select the process. We've got an input and output field. This is the field where the process is defined. And we've got a parameters tab. The important field is the input and output field. And you can see this as a box like this. This process consists out of a lot of in and outputs, which makes the field a bit unclear. I will open a new process so I can show you how the in and output field works. Here you've got your products. Uh, the known outputs to Technosphere, products and co-products, that's the real product, that's the output. And you also have avoided products. Avoided products is important for allocation. The inputs consists of inputs from nature and inputs from the Technosphere. Uh, and you've got the outputs field, which is outputs to nature, like emissions or waste. All right, let's say I'm going to process some glass and I have... A electricity and glass as input. My output is processed glass and my input is an input from the technosphere and that is glass. So I'm going to search for my process which is glass packaging and I'm going to put white glass in. The amount is one kilogram and the output is also one kilogram but we also need some electricity to process the glass, and that's another input from Technosphere. So. I'm sorry, energy, electricity by country mix. Let's say we use some medium voltage market process. I would just select one, it's just an example. And we also need, for example, one kilowatt hour per kilogram of processed glass. This is a process. I can save this process and now I have created a process which we can use in an assembly or as input for another process. You can see that it's part of this project, the Simapro step-by-step -step training. And yeah, you can use it just as every other process. Creating a life cycle or assembly has a lot of similar things as creating a process. So we go to product stages, and here we can select an assembly or a life cycle or one of those other things, but we're going to create an assembly. We're going to look at shipping of the glass we just created. So we click on assembly, others, and new. Well, we need to give it a name, which is shipping glass by air transport and we need to select the material which is the thing we're going to ship. Well that's the glass we just created, the processed glass and we're gonna ship one kilogram. But we also need some shipping method so that's the processing which is a transport method. We're gonna ship it by air and we're gonna ship it by a freight aircraft. Let's say for the rest of the world, intercontinental flight. So, well, we need to establish how many ton kilometers we need. We can change the unit, of course, but we're going to stick with the ton kilometers. Let's say we're going to ship it over 2,000 kilometers, one kilogram. We have got two ton kilometers of transport work. We save this and we have already created the first assembly. But let's say we want to compare this with uh, transport by ship. We're going to create another assembly 
we name this transport by ship. And we do the same as we just did. We select the process, we say we're going to ship one kilogram, and we have to select the transport method, which is by water. And well, let's say we're going to ship it by transoceanic ship. The distance is, of course, a bit different because we're going to use uh, a ship. And let's say we have to ship it over six ton kilometers. We save this process, and now we have created two assemblies which we comp can compare uh, in a life cycle impact assessment. Creating a life cycle goes in exactly the same way, but then you put in your assembly, your process, but also a waste and disposal scenario, and perhaps additional life cycles. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will look at creating a calculation setup and how we can conduct a life cycle impact assessment.